Hey, hey everybody, we're here at the pit once again. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out. We finally don't have any rain. We can finally do a little cooking outside. Before we get into what we're gonna cook, special shout out to our sponsor and our friend, Gamer Sanctum, our favorite place to play. Tim and all the gang have all your gaming needs there. Just give them a shout on one of their social medias. They will hook you up, tell the barbecue man sent you. And also Mox Gaming in Janesville, Wisconsin. Not a sponsor, but partnering with them to help them grow their game is Anna Banana Boat Bannon. You guys know her very well. It's her home store, so we're trying to help them out as well. So our scenario today, we want to cook outside. We're going to do an old favorite, maybe with a little twist. But here's the problem that we got. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you. We don't have any charcoal. We had a charcoal, used it all up at the shop for a meet and greet. So I got some hickory wood here and I grabbed some small pieces and lit it just like I would a charcoal chimney, as it is a charcoal chimney, but instead of being charcoal, it's wood. So we've got a nice fire gr growing in there. We've got some extra hickory over here. We're gonna use King Kong or Weber grill to cook with wood. What are we gonna cook? Well. We're going to do some old favorites, you know, a lot of things that people do on a regular basis anyway. As Kathy wanted some brats, so we've got some Johnsonville brats. We're going to be cooking those. We're also going to do some hot dogs, but these are the foot-long hot dogs. We're going to do those just because they're different. We're going to add a little bit of a twist to them. We're going to show you all that in just a little bit. I'm just going to let that wood cook down a little bit in the uh, charcoal chimney before we dump that into the grill and get started. We've got to clean our grate and do all those things. And I'm probably standing right in, probably looking right at my nostrils. Let me back that camera up. There we go. <laughs> We're going to let that burn down for just a little bit longer. Get it in the grill. Get the grill heated up. Uh, get some more wood on there so we can smoke the hot dogs and brats nicely. A little bit of twist, like I said, we'll be showing you that as we go along. But again, it's just an old favorite. Everybody grills. Fourth of July coming up. You know you're going to be cooking burgers and dogs and brats and all those things. But here's something with a little bit of a twist. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoop. All right. Well, I think we got this finally going again now. It's it's a little bit warm. Or a little, a little bit warm. The grill's getting hot, okay? We're heating that up nicely. The smoke's coming out nicely. Let's take a look and see what we got. Besides a lot of schmook. So we got some hickory down, down in there real nicely. We're gonna burn all wood today, no charcoal, because we ran out. Right. Actually, to be truthful, <laughs> my bin is up at the shop still from when we had the meet and greet up there. So I actually do not have any charcoal at the house, but that doesn't stop us from cooking. So we've got all these foot long hot dogs. Now you guys, if you're familiar with hot dogs, which I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you are, uh, hot dogs are pre-cooked and they're smoked at the facility that they make them at but just because we are who we are and we do what we do we like to add a new twist you know yeah i could hi ruby i could stick these in the microwave and that would be just fine and they'd cook and they'd be fine to eat and everything like that but we like a little more flavor so i'm going to set this down here real quick and we'll try to show you what we're going to do see if i can put this in an angle there we go take a look at that and i can always make things work right, right. We're going to take these here hot dogs, the foot longs, and we're going to put them as far away from the wood as we can. Now, obviously, on a grill of this size, that's not very far. <laughs> and because we have so many of them, because we like to cook a lot of food, so there's leftovers to have over the next coming days, we are going to have a lot. That's for sure. That's okay. We will use them up. And hot dogs don't, don't go bad. They don't have dairy or anything else like that in them. So they'll be okay in the fridge for several days. So our first step is to take those foot long doggies and we're gonna put them right there on the grill. Again, once the lid is on, the flaming will go down somewhat. Won't have as much flame and more smoke, more smolder. But there it is, we got those on. And we're gonna have to rotate those probably every five minutes or so. We'll spin them around, we'll roll them over. Like a good dog does, he rolls over. Anyway, yeah. Um, we will put those back and forth on the grill to get them. Stay camera, good job camera. They will uh, get evenly cooked. And once they're evenly cooked, 
we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz to them just to give it a different bit of flavor like we said okay so here we go all right so our dogs have been on for maybe 30 ish minutes or so let's take a look and see what we've got going on Ooh, look at that, a whole bunch of schmick <laughs> there goes our boat let me that hey, let me let me this there we go. all right as you can see they're getting a pretty good amount of color on them and that's kind of what we're looking to do is just give them that flavor and we know we're getting the flavor with the color coming like that so we're going to grab them out of here and put them in this aluminum foil thing that i got sitting up here and i'll show you that in a minute once we get them all off we're going to throw them brats on just to get them out of the way too so we can get them cooked nice now one of the issues you do run into is if you're trying to do things where you've got to open and close the lid a lot when you're cooking with the wood like this is as you can see behind me it's no longer smoldering it's starting to really burn <laughs> so there we go there's our dogs and we'll come back to those in just a minute in the meantime kathy likes her bratwursts she really does so we are going to make some bratwursts for her and then these are johnsonville beer brats with plastic in my finger don't want to come off. Pretty simple. We're going to do with these. We're not even going to beer bath them, I don't think. We're going to try to keep away from the direct fire because it's getting really hot. But we'll get them close enough so they'll cook moderately fast. I'm going to put the lid on just to slow those down. So now we've got these dogs over here. And I made this cute little aluminum foil thing because I don't want to make any more dishes. <laughs> I'm lazy and I don't want to wash anymore. Still got enough dishes to wash the way it is. So there's all of our dogs. And what I'm gonna do next is I saw these as I, we were shopping the other day. They were on clearance. So I grabbed a couple of them. These are called the burger sauce made by Kinders. We are not sponsored by them, but they're just little squeeze packets. Shake well. This is a refrigerator after opening. How do you only use like half of that? What I think I want to try to do is it says burger sauce, but eh, you know. We're going to try to put some of this on these guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them back on the grill for a little while and let this kind of soak in and continue to get hot. And this little boat that I made should help keep that sass from running off. At least I hope so, because aluminum foil does, does hold liquid. We'll brush these on and we'll get some, get some of the love on these guys. I don't know why I thought I'd try this other than they were only a quarter. So they were cheap, because I'm a cheapskate, right? I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I like my sales. Got our handy dandy paint brushes here that we picked up a bundle of a long time ago. We'll just give these guys some love. Kind of use it like barbecue cheese. And it says burger sauce on them, but I'm thinking to myself, self, burgers, dogs got a lot of the same things granted well, there's there, there really is they are she's always talking back to me but there is beef in these just like there is in a burger and granted there's pork too but i can't imagine they won't give us a nice flavor so we'll give that a shot and i made this thing way too big like an idiot that's all right we'll just fold it over make it in kind of a, a boat slash tent Got a cover to keep us out of the rain, just in case. Let's go back and check our brats and see how they're doing while we're... Because we're going to need the space on the grill for those. See how the flames went down? We can come over here for a minute. Get these things cooked. I think I'm going to try to do it separately because otherwise I'm going to be running back and forth. The thing's going to flare up and I'm going to have my hands full. And Lord knows I don't need to move any faster than what I absolutely must. See the flames are already coming back up. I'm going to have to put the lid back on, let these go for about five more minutes this way, turn them again, and we'll see how they get. shouldn't take too long, though. So we'll be back right after this. Well, we've got the brats just about done. You can see the wood's burned down a little bit, so I was actually able to put them over the flame a little bit more. Got them that nice char. I think we'll take those off and call them done. D-U-N done. Now, back to our main event for the day. We got them, the dogs, like I said, we got that sass on them. They've been sitting in the boat here for a little bit, just rowing nicely. And 
So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this back on the grill, away from the flame as best we can. And I'm also assuming once we get the cover on, the flames will die down a little bit. Go back into smoker mode where they just smolder. Probably give them about 10 or 15 minutes of love so they heat up nicely, let that sauce incorporate into them. Should take care of them real good. Uh, when we come back though, I think we're gonna take those off. We're gonna take them in the house because even though it's an absolutely gorgeous day, as you can see outside, the humidity is very high. We've had a lot of rain lately. The rivers are going up pretty high and the humidity is pretty rough on us. And I'm holding them fat. I don't take it very well. <laughs> so we'll take them inside and we'll show you what they look like once they're done. Then we'll do a little taste testing too and see if they were worth a little bit of extra effort we put into making old hot dogs into new tricks. All right, we're back inside. It's nice and cool in here. I wrapped these up in separate aluminum foil just because the one that was really hot and I didn't want it to burn my hands in the way of the still almost did. Ooh, that sauce is actually kind of sweet. Let's take a look at what we got going on. Of course, with a foot long, you need a foot long bun. That's smarter than I am, apparently. I can't figure out how to open it. There we go. Open says me. Foot long bun. See the nice color, we still got that sauce on there, some of it caramelized a little bit in the heat. Probably could have went a little bit longer, that's okay. Now you add your favorite toppings, you know, whether it's hot dog or the, uh, mustard, relish, ketchups, cheese, onions, mayo, I like mayo and hot dogs. But for this one, we're gonna try it plain. Mm. <laughs> you sure you don't want to try this? Mm. Added a new level of smoky flavor to it. The sauce gives it just a little bit of sweet, but not too much where it's like I'm eating a sweet dog. Or whatever. Oh yeah, we can eat this all day long. Mm. It's a good thing I made a lot of them because they are going to go fast. Mm. I love smoked meat. It's so good. That's it, gang. Not only did we conquer the fact that we didn't have any charcoal to cook with, we really didn't, because I left it at the shop. <laughs> but we also took an old favorite, plain old hot dogs. Right in their foot longs. They're still plain old hot dogs. Put a new twist on them, gave them that smoky flavor that we love so much, and turned out amazing. That's all we got for today. Like, share, subscribe, ring it, ding the bell notification, comment below, let us know what you think. Have you ever made hot dogs this way? But we took a, a summer favorite, put a new twist on it. You can do it too. It's real easy. See you next time.